Hey, I'm Emma and welcome to today's video, which is going to be an update on my Invisalign. I am currently on tray 15 out of 29 of my Invisalign. I'm going to call myself halfway done. I have had a few ups and downs throughout the last few trays. So for today's video, I wanted to give you the update for how my trays have been going, the ups, the downs, and how I've been getting on. So let's take you back in time. So I have had Invisalign for a few months and I'm getting pretty used to the whole Invisalign lifestyle. I'm doing two weekly changes at the moment. Usually in the first week they feel pretty good by day two and then in the second week they fit perfectly and it's like they were made to be. So I'm really enjoying my two weekly changes. I have many trays to go. I've just had Invisalign for a few months but honestly things are going quite well. So a little Invisalign update. I'm on train nine and I am seeing huge improvements. I feel like my bottom teeth are nearly, they're so nearly all in a line. It is very exciting. Honestly, I'm becoming really happy with my teeth. I feel like if it all stopped here, I would be pretty satisfied with how my teeth are even just now. So my bottom teeth, Pretty much all in a row. I mean I think I've got a little bit a little bit to come down on this wee snaggle tooth. However, it's pretty much in a line just now. And I'm not so self-conscious of it. These second teeth here are also not so hooked over my front teeth. I don't have much to report apart from I am very happy with how my teeth are right now. I'm really interested to see um, I think looking back on this I'm not gonna be happy with how my teeth are right now. But I am so overjoyed with how my bottom teeth are kind of falling into line at the moment. Little Invisalign update. I am currently on tray 10 and we had a little knockback because I went to do my dental monitoring scan to change from tray 9 to tray 10 and the orthodontist was like, nah, you're not ready. Stay for another five days. And I was like, what? I felt so disappointing to the orthodontist. I felt like I'd ruined everything. We were off schedule and I felt like a real failure to be honest. All that happened was I had to wear my tray for an extra few days. It was really not the end of the world. However, I did let it personally affect me and now I have progressed to trade 10. Everything seems fine. Also, I figured out one thing. Because I have an overbite where my top jaw goes over and kind of was hiding my bottom teeth, they have given me what's called a bite block. And that is four little stages on the back of my front teeth for my bottom teeth to rest up against. Yeah, that's the thing. I just figured out that it's called a bite block and that was very exciting news for me. So I'm continuing to stock Invisalign everything's, Invisalign subreddit, Invisalign Instagram posts, Invisalign is kind of a way of life for me. Right now, since I had my little setback, I got a bit obsessed again and I don't know. It did feel really, really horrible for those five days where I was like, I failed. I failed my orthodontist. I failed myself. I failed Invisalign. I've failed. But yeah, I don't know. I got off of my little sulking fest and chewed a lot and then moved on to the next aligners. So we're back on track. Oh, so I'm on tray 12 just now. On tray, I think 9, 10 and 11, I have been kind of delayed. I was feeling so drained and exhausted with Invisalign. So I was supposed to be on two week changes and I know some people are on one week changes. I don't know, I'm on two week changes. And then I would do the dental monitoring scan and they would say like, no, you need to hold with these trays and wear them longer. I was kind of embarrassed. I was feeling like the orthodontist will personally be like, why are you messing up this treatment plan? Um, which I know is a bit too much. I know the orthodontist won't really be thinking that. They don't care, they've got too many patients to think actually about me as an individual and judge me. But I was, yeah, a little bit upset with myself. But honestly, I was having my trays in like all the time. It's not been through a lack of wear and the orthodontist closed one Monday I had to do my scan and I got this like automated message back that was like, you should wear your trays 22 hours a day. I'll find it because it was really not particularly nice. I know it was just an automated message, 
but it was, yeah, not particularly nice to read. Um, after reviewing your last scan, your specialist, orthodontist, has noticed, has noted, you will need to continue wearing your aligners, but try to get closer to 22 hours a day, every day, until your next scan. Use chewies each time you put your aligners back in. To get back on track, remember to wear your aligners for 22 hours a day, only taking them out when you're eating or brushing your teeth. And I'm like, girl, I was wearing them 22 hours a day. Don't tell me that I wasn't. So I think what was happening was basically my... It's the front bottom four. And they just did not fit. No matter how much I chewed, no matter how long I had them in, they just didn't fit. It was like my teeth were at the wrong angle or something. Something was going on. And basically there was just this gap when I bit down, you can see it moving and going back into place perfectly, but honestly, they just really, really couldn't fit. Even when I would have an evening of chewing, like maybe half an hour, an hour with the chewies in, chewing like my life depended on it, then I would go to sleep the next morning and there would be like no movement. Any other time I've had trays, and these current trays, if I do like an evening of chewing, then the next morning they're so snug they fit perfectly then you can take them out and, like throughout the day or if you eat or something like then you kind of gotta get them back in but the morning after an evening of chewing they would fit perfectly and with like these last trays that just weren't doing it there was no making them fit and i felt so like personally victimized by my orthodontist from that automated message being like you need to wear them 22 hours a day and I'm like I am wearing them 22 hours a day <laughs> honestly my wear is really good and I don't feel like as an adult I need to defend that that was like mm, I don't know it's stressing me out as you can tell but yeah there was no getting them to fit anyway this tray so I'm on 12 now so 11 was perfect I had the two weeks I did the scan and it, they said it fit I don't I really didn't feel like it fit perfectly but it passed the scan so I just stayed quiet, I moved on to this tray and they fit really nicely so now I know it was the bottom ones that were like causing issues. Now I've had a little bit of IPR there to straighten up this one. Um, yeah, hopefully that's going to make me back on track and I won't have any more delays but it's kind of disheartening when I had like 29 trays in total and then it's like plus 5 extra days, plus 5 extra days for each tray. I'm like trying to do the maths to see how long this is going to be uh, and getting a little bit disheartened but we're back on track everything's fine i just had ipr my bottom teeth are kind of triangular shaped so they were kind of triangular shaped and touching at the top and gappy at the bottom so the aim of the game was to straighten them up and take away a little bit of the tooth size so that they're less overcrowded the triangle shape turns into slightly narrower straight up and down tooth and now I feel really gappy. So I've had IPR down on one of my bottom teeth down here. So I didn't have IPR here and I did have IPR here. And it's just kind of straightened everything up so that they're no longer touching at the top but not the bottom there's just a bit of a gap so this the middle gap here this one didn't have ipr do you see how they're kind of touching at the top and a gap at the bottom so that was the second round of ipr that i have had and it was much better than the first this time it was maybe like 20 minutes in total and I knew what was going to happen. They took this tiny little strip that was sandpaper floss and they put it between my teeth and they just rubbed a little bit just to be able to get the floss in between and then he took a little, you know those like flossing bows, this like curved bit of plastic and then the floss in between. He took one of those but it had a metal thing in between and it was plugged in and it was electric and it was just like I don't know kind of filing my tooth electrically and it was not pleasant but because I knew what was coming because I uh, this was my second round of IPR it wasn't so stressful 
So I had a little bit of IPR here to stop kind of my bottom teeth being so triangular and touching at the top and having a black gap at the bottom. So now they're nicely straight up and down. And I had a little bit up here as well. Um, that's where like my first round of IPR was around here, but there was one that wasn't done, so that was done this time. And yeah, I feel like the IPR was kind of fine. I'm feeling a little bit gappy without my trays in, but everything else is generally going fine. The orthodontist gave me tons more chewies. I got like a bundle of more chewies to take home with me, which is delightful. And I feel like I'm, yeah, I'm on my way. So I'm overjoyed with the location of where my snaggle tooth has got to just now. But I am a little bit stressed about the gum level. So you can see that my gums on the bottom four, three of them, fit perfectly where the trays were expecting them to be but my one snaggle tooth that has moved a lot my gum line is lower than the tray so I'll just show you so there is an extra tooth just showing through here I know it's probably nothing I'm just kind of terrified of gum recession I really hope my gums aren't receding so I left a note to my orthodontist to be like hey can we keep an eye on like this area of my gum my gums are not red or inflamed and they don't seem to be moving that I can tell. It's just because of the layer, it's just because of the level of my trays at the bottom, I'm getting a little bit stressed that my gum is receding. However, my orthodontist reassured me that because this tooth has been moving so much and it was so far back to start with, that's why my gum line is lower. So I'm just gonna really keep an eye and make sure that my gums are okay because I have seen that um, some aligner patients, yeah, you can get gum recession. So I wanna keep an eye on that and make sure that my gums stay healthy. So for being halfway through, I'm honestly overjoyed at the state of my teeth just now. I feel like my snaggle tooth has gone and that was my biggest insecurity. So my bite at the moment does feel a bit weird. So. I used to have my teeth like perfectly bite and I was really keen, I told the orthodontist, I'm really keen to keep a good bite. There's no point in fixing my teeth straight if I can't bite them down and they all chew food and function correctly as teeth should do. So I was really hoping that my teeth would remain functional and biting together. And they are still functional, but if I sit without my tray in and I'm feeling about thinking about the positioning of my teeth, one side, the right side does touch closed and the left side kind of doesn't. So I don't know. It feels like my bite has significantly changed in these 14 trays. I just hope my bite is still going to be good. I do have a real overbite at the moment um, and I've got these bite blocks to try and make my bite go where it needs to go. But if I have my teeth where the bite block would want them, then there's gaps at the side. So, I don't know. We're waiting on my bite to be aligned nicely. The other thing I have noticed, which is incredibly inconvenient, is my teeth no longer can tear food. <laughs> so I used to be able to bite into say a ham sandwich and I could just make one bite and my teeth, you know, my top teeth and my bottom teeth at the front could kind of work together to just cut a piece of sandwich. At the moment, I don't know what has happened to change my teeth. I think it might be the angles of them, but I cannot bite and just chew something. Like it's like my teeth have got really blunt. It's like trying to cut, you know, with scissors, when you have really blunt scissors and the paper just folds. That is the effect that my teeth have when I'm trying to bite through things, especially things like a ham sandwich or like a vegetable. Like I just find it so hard, unless I'm tearing or giving it some sort of other force. My teeth have kind of stopped working a little bit, so hopefully it's just that my bite is changing, the angles of my teeth are changing, and I'll be able to retrain my teeth to be able to eat a ham sandwich. <laughs> but it has been kind of inconvenient. And pizza. Oh, pizza as well. I had pizza with broccoli on it the other day. Love broccoli. Love pizza on broccoli. Hate me for it all you will. But I took a bite and I just, like, I couldn't bite the soft dough of the pizza and the stem of the broccoli at the same time. 
I just hope that by the end of treatment my bite is functional and looks good. <gasps> oh dear me. But because my snaggle tooth no longer is on a different row to all of my other teeth, when I've been biting into cheese or biting into apple I can see the shape of my bite and oh my gosh it is so satisfying. I used to absolutely detest, it was like those mini baby bells when I used to bite into a piece of cheese and I could see my bite mark was like one step down and then tooth to that. Oh I used to hate it so much. So at least my bottom teeth are all in alignment. I just hope that I get some more chewing action, ripping a piece of sandwich off and hopefully my bite at the back stabilizes. So I just need to wait and see how things go. Let's take a closer look at my teeth and my current progress. The before, this is tray one, day one. My midline is still quite off. You can see these little bubble attachments on my teeth. They are just to help move my teeth and get them into the correct position. The arch of my lower jaw has really broadened as well. My second teeth at the top are much less hooked over my front teeth, but I do have a long way to go with aligning my bite. That's it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!